Here we have a USB flash drive that came in for data recovery. Almost time to go home, so I thought, let me do this, and then I'll end the video with this, whether it's a fix or no fix. And I have a lot of things on the bench that we need to get done. We have another PS5. We have a PS4. We have two laptops. We have an urgent video card repair that we need to do. Motherboard is on my bench here. We have a Dell tablet motherboard. No power. We need to see what's going on. Nintendo Switch board. We need to see what's going on with this one. Whatever you see on the bench here is urgent. And we always promise customers anything expedited or urgent, customer pays $49 more. The urgent repairs, they are done almost always same day or the following day, unless we need to order parts. Let's take a look at this flash drive. And I really thought somebody sent me a watch or something, but it's a flash drive. Not good, not good. Before we proceed with the repair, I just wanted to mention the Amtec Flux is back in stock. We've been out for a couple of days and we had 176 people that filled out the notify me when item is back in stock. 176 people in a few days. Wow, wow. I mean, we sell more Flux than anybody out there. We sell more Flux than anybody out there. And there's a reason for that. We always have the freshest Flux in stock. The freshest. I mean, let me show you. We have bags and bags of Amtec Flux that just arrived. I want to show you the make date on this syringe. When we call the factory, they manufacture the Flux specifically for us. So we always get the absolute freshest Flux in the market. Look at the make date. I mean, look at this, April 8, 2021. The Flux was made April 8, 2021. Today we are what? April 19. So this Flux was made 11 days ago. The factory made it and they shipped it to us and we just got it. The freshest, the absolute freshest flux in the market. The flux will come repackaged in a syringe like this. The reason for that is we provide you with a free plunger because Amtac syringe does not come with a plunger and it does not come with the needle. So we provide you with two needles and we provide you with the plunger. So I just wanted to make everybody aware that flux is back in stock and we already emailed everybody who filled out the notify me when item is back in stock. So. Everything is good and let's proceed with the repair. We have the flash drive here and we want to see what's going on. The socket is clearly not broken. It's very solid and it's not a socket issue. So what's going on with this flash drive? First thing I want to do is plug it in to the computer to see if we are able to read from this drive. I plugged it in and the computer did not make the sound, the tone, and I do not see a light on the flash drive itself. Ouch. Ah. Oh. Very hot. The controller is very hot. Wow, I only plugged it in for a few seconds and the controller is burning. Let me plug it to our power bank here just to show you that there is no light on this flash drive. The LED is not lighting up. And the controller is burning hot. Hot is good. Hot is good as long as the problem is not the controller itself. Let's take a look at the board. I felt a lot of heat on the side of the board. Let's start with the back. I mean, right off the bat, I see a slight burn mark right here. Look at this. Look at this. It looks like orders are already coming in for the flux. We have five orders in six minutes. People are ordering in batches of three and five. I mean, the more you order, the greater the discount. Great, awesome, awesome. Right off the bat, I see a burn mark here. We're gonna measure to see if this resistor is measuring 2.2 ohms. Two 2.4 ohms, great. Resistor is good. It does have a burn mark on it but it's reading good. A burn mark is an indication that the resistor suffered a lot of heat and that's why it changed colors. But the resistance is still good, 2.4 ohms. I mean, nothing going on on this side of the board. A few resistors, five resistors, and that's it. Look at this, and the LED, and the resistor here, and one here. 
Nothing going on on this side of the board. Let's flip the board. And we have three capacitors. We have a controller and we have the NAND chip. That's it. That's all there is to it when it comes to flash drives. So the short could possibly be coming from the controller chip, from the NAND chip, or from any one of those caps here. Let's put meter in diode mode. Red probe on ground, and do we have a short here? We do not. This is good. Do we have a short here? And we do. Do we have a short here? And we do not. So this one is the only thing that is short into ground. The problem could be the cap itself, or it could be the controller. One of them. I just pray that it's the cap, because if it's the controller, then this flash drive will not be a fix. I want to monitor this under a thermal cam and see what gets hot first. Is it the capacitor or the controller? I mean, if I was not recording a video, I would just remove the cap and test, but I just want you to see what the thermal cam is showing and what is getting hot first. And that way we will both know, or we can both guess what could be the problem, the capacitor or the controller chip. Let me grab a power bank and we're going to plug this flash drive onto the power bank and we're going to point the thermal cam onto the flash drive. We just want to guess as a small quiz to what is causing the short, the capacitor or the controller. And where's the board? Right there. That's the board. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the power bank on. One, two, three. So what got hot first? Who came first, the chicken or the egg? Let's wait until it cools down again. The power bank is off. But it got so hot that heat is still showing on that chip. Let me increase the temperature boundaries a bit. Okay, let's turn it on. One, two, three. Yeah, you see? The top part is getting hot first, and the top part is the capacitor. Power it on one more time. Yeah, definitely. The top capacitor is what's getting hot first. I mean, I just wanted to show you this under a thermal cam. So you know that we have a short on this flash drive. It could be the chip or it could be the cap, but based on what I saw on the thermal cam, it's most likely that capacitor. So let's go ahead and remove the capacitor. And the cap is out in one second, split second. The power of hot tweezers, the power of everything, the power of the thermal cam, the power of hot tweezers, the power of having a good regular tweezer, the power of experience. Let's test and I pray and hope that the short is gone. Short is gone. <laughs> the short is gone. Wow. We made an educated guess and we confirmed that guess by looking at the thermal cam. And I was right. Problem is the cap. If we test this cap in continuity mode, we get a beep. It's a full line. It's a full line. Bad cap. So what happens if we plug this flash drive to our computer now? But before I do so, let's plug the flash drive to our power bank again and monitor 
the heat properties under a thermal cam. Again, just for the learning experience, power. And now the controller is powering on normally. And the cap that was on top is no longer showing any heat because we removed it. Flip the board, normal, normal. And now let's plug this flash drive to our computer. Look at that. Wow. The files are right here. A lot of Excel files, a lot of PDF files, so on and so forth. The job is done. Job is done. The work is done. So one tiny microscopic capacitor was causing this whole flash drive not to work. We removed that capacitor and the flash drive is working again. I'm able to read the files. We're going to back up the files, put them on a new flash drive and mail it back to the customer. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions, and we'll do something else in the next video. Hot is good is... Hot is good is... Hot is good as long as the problem is not the controller itself.